Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and guess what? We're back with the NVIDIA Shield TV again because I am still getting some great questions from all of you on this device. If you haven't seen any of my prior videos, uh, do check them out at the link above because I've done a lot on this already. I'll probably be doing more uh, as we get more questions in. And uh, one thing a lot of people have asked is about side-loading apps onto the device. Now, if you're familiar with side-loading, you already know what I'm talking about, but if you're not, uh, what side-loading is is basically downloading apps for the Android platform directly from the manufacturer in what's called an APK file and then installing them on the device without going through the Google Play Store. So you load them up on a memory stick like this, pop it into your device and install it that way. And there is a bit of a process to getting this to work on the uh, Android TV platform because there's a slightly different, actually very different interface uh, than what you might have on a tablet and a phone. And there are a couple of prerequisites you need to get first. So I wanted to show you what those apps are uh, before we go too much deeper. The first thing you wanna do is grab what's called Side Load Launcher off the Google Play Store. So this is an app that you can find on there right now. And what it does is it gives you uh, access to apps that are compatible with the device, but don't show up on the TV interface. So let me show you what this app looks like real quick so you can get a feel for what I'm talking about. So when I load this app up, I see everything that my device supports uh, including the things that do show up in the main menu there. But for example, if I scroll down to RetroArch here, uh, that is not appearing on my main screen, but I can boot it up uh, through this launcher here. So that is why you would uh, maybe want to have that in there because there might be some Android apps that will run on here, uh, but won't show up. And in fact, what we're going to do uh, in this demonstration video is install a file manager for one of my network attached storage devices. So the app is not compatible in the Google Play Store with my device, but I can install the APK file directly and get access to it. And that sideload manager is how I'm going to get at that app uh, once it's installed. So get that on there. That's an important one to do. Uh, and you also want to look at getting the ES File Explorer, and that is also available in the Google Play Store. It's free, uh, and you can use that to actually install the app so you can kind of navigate around the file system uh, that you have on your device. And I'm going to show you how all this stuff works in a minute, but I want you to get those things installed first so that when we get to that point, you'll be ready to go. One other thing you need to do is go into your settings screen here, uh, and we need to tell the Android TV device to allow uh, the apps being installed from other locations. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to go to security and restrictions. And what you need to do in here uh, is set your unknown sources to on. And what that does is it, just exactly what it says on the screen here, uh, it allows the installation of apps from sources other than the Google Play Store. So switch that one on. Uh, one thing that I have done and left on is verifying apps. And that's kind of like a heuristics thing where at least it'll, if something gets on there that, you know, you're trying to put something on that might be harmful to the system, it'll give you a warning or prevent it from being installed. I leave it on just to be safe. So far, uh, no apps that I've tried to install through the sideloading method have given me any issues, but just a safety net that if you're going to turn off that unknown sources thing, I would just leave the verify apps on. So this is the configuration uh, that I have been running with. So very simple stuff there. Now what we're going to do is take this memory stick which contains the APK file that uh, we want to install. I'm going to pop it into the back on the other USB port. I love that this thing has uh, two USB ports on the back. Sometimes they're a little hard to work in there so it really goes in kind of tough. Uh, but now that card is installed I'm going to go back out to the main menu here. I'm going to go to our file explorer and uh, take a look and see uh, what we have to look at on here. So now as you can see we've just got uh, the basic file system of my Android device. On the left here I can scroll down uh, and find that uh, device. So we can go to USB drive two and uh, click on that. And there, right there is the Android DS file APK file. And that is what we're going to install. So I'm just going to hit the, uh, the A button here and uh, that will launch this little men menu option here to say, uh, do you wanna go to the market and find this or do you just wanna install it? I'm going to say install. And uh, what it's gonna do is you just select the package installer, which is the app we want to have uh, load up when we uh, load these kinds of files. It's gonna give me all the warnings that you would normally get uh, in the store about what it can and can't do. We're gonna click install and it's going to install that app right now. It is now installed. I'm gonna click done because I wanna go back out to the main menu here and just show you uh, that it probably is not going to appear in our list of available applications. So you saw what that icon looked like, the DS file. Uh, it is not here, but if we go into our side load launcher, we will see it right there and I can boot it up uh, and then type in all my information and get access to 
uh, my NAS device. So a really uh, quick and easy tutorial here about how to get apps sideloaded onto your device. Great for installing Kodi, great for things like this uh, file manager for my Synology drive that doesn't yet have a Google Android TV version available, but is still compatible with the device. So that is how uh, you get sideloaded apps onto the Shield TV. If you have more questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll cover them in a future video. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.